Plasmid isolation by alkaline lysis method. Alkaline lysis method of plasmid isolation was originally developed by Brimbaum and Dolly in the year 1979. Inoculate 5 ml of LB broth containing appropriate antibiotics in culture tube with bacterial colonies. Incubate the culture tube on a rotary shaker with 200 rpm at 37 degrees Celsius overnight. Pour the bacterial cells into the micro centrifuge tube or the falcon tube. Centrifuge the bacterial cells for 1 minute at 12,000 rpm, whereas in case of falcon tube, centrifuge at 4,000 rpm for 3 minutes. If the cells are centrifuged for a long time, it will be more difficult to resuspend the cell pellet. The pellet is formed. Discard the supernatant and retain the pellet. Resuspend the cell pellets in 100 microliter of ice cold solution 1. Solution 1 contains glucose, tris HCl, and EDTA. EDTA is used to chelate the Mg++ ions associated with the outer membrane and destabilizes the membrane. Be sure that the pellet is resuspended completely before continuing. Leave it at room temperature for 5 minutes. Now add 200 microliter of freshly prepared solution 2. Solution 2 contains 1% SGS and NaOH of 0.2 normality. Mix by inverting the tubes gently and place it in ice for 10 minutes. Upon addition of solution 2, the sample begins to clear because STS denatures the entire DNA. Add 200 microliter of solution 3 and mix it well by inverting the tubes 5 to 6 times. Solution 3 contains potassium acetate with glacial acetic acid. Solution 3 is added to bring the sample back to its neutral pH and to precipitate an insoluble potassium STS salt. A white precipitate of denatured proteins and the cell debris is formed. Centrifuge at 12,000 rpm for 5 minutes. The supercoil plasma DNA and small RNAs remain in the supernatant solution. Hence, transfer the supernatant into a fresh falcon tube. Add 300 microliter of ice cold isopropanol to the tube and mix it well. Leave the tube in deep freeze for about 10 minutes. DNA and RNA are precipitated in this step. Centrifuge at 12,000 rpm for 5 minutes. Decan the isopropanol and drain the pellet well. Blot excess liquid onto clean tissue paper or paper towel. Rinse the pellet with 1 ml of 70% ethanol and centrifuge at 12,000 rpm for 10 minutes.
Remove the supernatant and air dry the pellet for 10 minutes. Dissolve the pellet in 50 microliter of 0.1 XGE buffer. Clean the template and the comb with absolute ethanol. Add 1 gram of agarose in 100 ml of TBE buffer. Melt it in microwave oven. At bearable heat, add 1 microliter of ETBR. Pour it carefully into the plate. Allow it to solidify. Prepare 1 XGBE buffer and pour it into the gel tank. Carefully remove the comb and place the plate inside the gel tank. Load appropriate amount of 1 kb ladder in the first well followed by the DNA sample in the next two wells. The gel is allowed to run. On comparing 1 kb ladder, the size of the plasmid DNA is found to be approximately equal to 1 kb.